YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, I've got a jam-packed one for you guys here today. We've got some free exotics, I think, coming your way either today or sometime this week. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, I got a feeling something big is going to go down. Last week we got that really cool cutscene of Osiris and Rasputin, and I'm going to suggest you donate, donate, and donate your fractaline, 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 however you pronounce it, so that we we could see what the next milestone is and hopefully uh, finish off this Empyrean Foundation thing. A couple of things to keep in mind. If you're looking to get your infamy up this week, this is the week to play Gambit or Gambit Prime. We have increased infamy and usually it means double infamy during the week and then also triple infamy by the weekend. So I'm going to say play some Gambit. Also we have Mayhem returning. So that's good for getting quick Crucible games in if you're looking to get your Valor up. I know it's not double Valor or anything. But Mayhem is fast, it's quick, and to me, it's a lot of fun. Now, let's talk about these free exotics. So, hopefully, I'm just going to recap this really quick. Bungie did launch something with Twitch Prime. And the way it works is that if you have uh, Amazon Prime, you have access to Twitch Prime, where you could subscribe to someone on a monthly basis. It will change every single month. You could subscribe to someone for one month, then when the month rolls over, you could subscribe to the same person again, or subscribe to someone else. But with that, you have, well, Twitch Prime now. And with Twitch Prime, you then link it to your Bungie account, and every single month, and we have right here, according to the Bungie.net page, up until February 25th, uh, we got our first drop. And once you link everything, and you claim your rewards, you simply go see Amanda Holiday, and then she will have your rewards for you. So this week, uh, I'm guessing this week will be our next drop of Exotics. Now, good old JP Deathblade over on Twitter, he somehow data mines this stuff, but um, you got to take it with a grain of salt because Bungie can change things at any moment. But what he has, and I'm going to show you on screen uh, what he tweeted out, and I'm going to link his Twitter in the description. And he's got a great website called Today in Destiny, and it's just full of great resources. But looks like we're getting a ship of the uh, Praxic Finery, uh, the Poultry Petting Exotic Emo, the Sails of Osiris Exotic Ship, and a legendary ghost shell called Age of Tomorrow. For the exotic weapon, that we have no idea, but I'll keep you posted. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn, and I'll let you guys know. Without further ado, let's get into the weekly reset and all the new activities to do. Okay, kicking things off with the Nightfall Strikes this week, let's check out the Ordeal Nightfall Strike. That's going to be over on IO, Echo Mesa, Echo Mesa Sean, dumb joke. That's going to be the Pyramidian Strike, and the Nightfall Strike exclusive loot is a sniper rifle called the Silicon Neuroma. Uh, if you reach over a 100k score, you will get a pinnacle drop, and if you just do a number of regular runs, you will just get a tier 1 powerful drop. For the old school Nightfalls, what do we got? We have a Garden World, we've got Exodus Crash, and we have the Corrupted. In terms of the Nightfall Strike exclusive loot, the Corrupted will have a pretty good pulse rifle called the Horrors Least. And it's more like a rapid fire, really, really quick firing, quick kill pulse rifle that is arc damage. You might want to grind that one out if you do not have it. We have Exodus Crash and that's going to have an uh, exotic sparrow called the Impact Velocity and a Garden World you've got the Universal Wave Function that is an exotic ship. Let's look at the Vanguard Strike playlist. If you do a couple of runs you will get a tier 1 pinnacle drop and the burn this week is Solar Singe and these are your daily modifiers. Today we have Grounded and we have Brawler. The Flashpoint this week is over on the European dead zone you simply want to go do some uh, public events maybe some lost sectors make sure you do your heroic adventure here go see Devrim K and he will give you a tier one powerful drop in terms of the escalation protocol weapons if you uh, do some runs of escalation protocol over and over and kill the boss um, all of the weapons can drop this week the sniper the submachine gun and also the shotgun uh, you do not need to open up the final chest, you simply just need to farm that boss over and over, and yeah, you will have a chance at all three weapons. Don't forget the sundial over on Mercury, and if you do a number of runs, you will get some uh, Fractalin, and also a tier 2 powerful drop. But if you do it on Legend, you will get a pinnacle drop, but you do need a fire team. And when you go to pick one of your four weapons, the first weapon you choose, that's going to be the pinnacle drop. So if you're deficient in your heavy slot, you want to grab a heavy weapon first. Let's look at the modifiers. All right, we have Pestilence. When defeated, Scions spawn Void Grenades at their feet. We've got Equipment Locked. 
We have match game, so enemy shields are highly resistant to all unmatched elemental damage. So just to make sure you and your fire team have all your elements spread out in terms of your weapons, void, arc, solar, etc. We've got our unstoppable champions, we've got our barrier champions, we've got arc damage is increased, environmental damage is increased, and also extinguished. So just make sure you don't wipe or you will go back to orbit. As I mentioned before, it is double infamy, and then by the weekend it usually is triple infamy, and that's for Gambit Prime and also Gambit. And let me know in the comment section which one you prefer, Gambit, old school Gambit, or Gambit Prime. Because I have a feeling next year, or at least I think they've alluded to that one of these will go away, and I'm pretty sure Old School Gambit's going to go the way of the Dodo. All right, you've got the Reckoning here, and the Weekly Singe for the Reckoning is going to be Void Singe. If you're looking to do the Menagerie, well, the Singe is going to be Solar Singe, and today we've got Grounded and Brawler, if you want to know the full modifiers. And usually I don't cover the Menagerie, but a number of you have uh, asked me to uh, cover it. We have Extinguish, we've got Match Game, we've got Attrition, Regeneration is greatly impaired, Defeating Enemies may create Wells of Light, and we have Arc Singe. Arc Damage increases slightly from all sources. And the boss is... I'm going to try to pronounce his name, uh, Pagari, P-A-G-O-U-R-I, okay, whichever boss that is. All right, we could see our progress, man, we're at the home stretch right here in terms of donating, so donate, donate, donate all of your Fractalin. All right, as I mentioned before, we have Mayhem Clash, we have Countdown, Fight for Valor by uh, detonating a charge, defusing the opposing charge, or eliminating all opponents. We have our usual playlist, Rumble, Control, we've got Elimination, Survival, and Freelance Survival, where you are not match made with people, and Classic Mix, and I made the comment last week that we have too many playlists, and you guys ate me alive in the comment section. All right, I'm not saying make it like Destiny uh, 2 when it first launched and only have two playlists, but kind of feel like uh, this is a bit much here, having this many playlists, but you said, you know what, you stand off. Exactly how many playlists should Bungie have in the Crucible? All right, everyone's going to the uh, obelisk here, or the tower obelisk, to check in and uh, grab their fractalin and also grab all of the bounties, so just make sure you go see, and uh, let's take a look and see before we grab that. What bounties we have? We got Scorn, we've got Bosses and Strikes, we've got Materials on Mars or EDZ, uh, Swords or Melee Damage, I still have that one in my inventory, Using a Bow Defeat Cabal with Precision Final Blows, we've got, uh, let's see, Rapidly Defeat Enemies in Groups of Two or More using Precision Final Blows, uh, Defeat Enemies using Void Abilities, and Using Kinetic Weapons Rapidly Defeat Enemies in Groups of Three or More without Taking Damage. But make sure you do that little glitch here where you can grab, I think, about six or seven of these at one time. Time, only the perfect paradox and then donate your fractalin from there and it will complete them and you will get a boatload of XP uh, what is my season rank 252 I'm kind of falling behind here because I need to uh, do more of these anyway but uh, if you want a whole guide on how to complete these really easily uh, I'm gonna link an annotated video on screen right now as usual if you get 5,000 XP or more you will get a tier 1 drop for doing stuff for your clan and all the other usual vendors like the drifter Banshee uh, let's see, Zavala, Shaxx and all that, you do a couple of bounties for them, you'll get a tier one powerful drop. Looking over at the moon, if you're looking for pinnacle drops, do the dungeon. The final boss will give you a masterwork piece of armor that will be pinnacle gear in terms of its uh, power level. The Garden of Salvation will give you non-stop pinnacle gear. And the challenge this week is going to be the staying alive challenge. That's going to be challenge number one, where you simply do not kill the cyclopses that spawn as you move from room to room. In terms of the nightmares, what do we have? We have the Fanatic, we've got uh, Omni Gull, and we have also Skolas. So in terms in terms of the essences that they drop, Skolas will drop the helmet, Omni Gull will drop the boots, and the Fanatic will have the essence of the Love and Death Grenade Launcher. Great Grenade Launcher, I love it, but we know what they're doing to Grenade Launchers next season. Lastly, let's check in with Tess Everest, and yes, I know you could do it from your menu, but I like to do it here. Uh, she's got her usual stuff here for sale for silver. We got the Origami Crane. Let's see, let's just take a look at it real quick. We got your piece of paper, you're folding it, and you're gonna create something cool with it, and then are you gonna just show it, or are you gonna throw it off? There it is, cool. That's origami for you, yep, and you throw it off. Okay, that is uh, 1,000 silver. Uh, we've got the ornament for the arbalist, and I don't think anyone uses that weapon. We've got this right here, the motive force. 
That's kind of like a cabal looking uh, sparrow there. But what's more concerning is what do they have for sale for Bright Dust? All right, I usually like to buy these consecrated matograms because they will give you an upgrade module and you just use Bright Dust to buy those. Uh, we've got the Kobe Bryant shader here. That looks really cool, or at least I, I believe that's what... Because this, this went on sale right after uh, Kobe passed away, rest in peace. Uh, we have this ship here, the Prod. Um, I, you know what? I like the Tex Mechanica look, but it's kind of weird. I don't know. I like my usual um, Whisper of the Worm ship that I was using. All right, so we have Cowbell. All right, Cowbell is available for Bright Dust. All right, everybody grab this. Everyone loves this one. All right, so grab that one. And how much Bright Dust is that? 4,250. All right. Uh, the Prod is going to be 2,000. We've got an Omelon Sparrow here. Let's see, and we've got a custom drive, random mod, and destabilizers. Now, uh, some folks uh, who are new in the comment section said, what do you mean by random mod? It means when you grab this, this mod right here is going to be something random, uh, meaning in terms of like the perks that this Sparrow would do. Then once you buy this, you'll have it in your collections, then you could pull it from your collections and keep pulling it over and over until you get a random mod that you like on your Sparrow. All right, we've got the Omelon Ghost Shell. Same thing here. This random mod, if you keep pulling this from your collections once you buy it, uh, it will give you something different. This one has Guiding Light, and it has Treasure Hunter. All right, that's a good shell right there. I would buy this um, if you need something with uh, XP gains, and also you want to find those um, caches within a 50-meter range because you get 10% XP, and within a 50-meter range, you can find those caches. All right, we've got the Lord of Wolves ornament for Bright Dust. And do I want to pick that up uh, for 12 Let's see, 1250 No, I think I will pass. All right, Red Legion Projection. And we've got the chess piece this week. And the usual stuff here. we got some shaders, and that's pretty much it. So, home stretch, guys. So, I will let you know uh, as soon as I hear or see anything uh, posted from Bungie regarding uh, what the exotic weapon will be. Uh, it should be hip... hip Hippening. It should be happening this week. Sorry, end of the video. I'm in Babamo. It should be happening sometime this week, if not today, when we get our next Twitch Prime drop, which we um, you'll go you'll claim it on the web page. I'll make a video on it. You'll claim it on their uh, page, and then you'll go to see Amanda Holiday, and then you will grab it. All right, guys. So leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end, and uh, if anything else happens this week because we are in the home stretch. Like I said, if you go to the Crucible uh, destination here. Um, we just need one more bar filled, and more than likely we'll get that story mission or quest line, The Worthy. And if it, if it hits, I'll either make a video or I'll just fire up the live stream and we could go do it and watch it together. And hopefully it has a cool cutscene and will tell us what's going to happen next season. And I guess when we finish, we can all get our um, seal, savior, right? Alright guys, if you'd like to become a channel member and further support this channel, click the link in the description. We've got an amazing Mesa Army Destiny 2 and even Division 2 community, because a lot of folks are getting into the Division two now and we've got a new dlc dropping for it next week and we have a mesa army clan for pc xbox and ps4 as a bonus perk if you need one for destiny 2 and even some folks started up some division 2 clans all right guys drop a like in this video only if you see fit follow me on twitter at mesa sean check out my stream usually know it's on youtube and that's it i am out of here like vladimir